What's up guys, Awesome Drove Northwest, making another EVO video. Today we are going to be doing some maintenance on the EVO 10. So in this video I'm going to do all the drivetrain fluids except for transmission because I didn't get the transmission oil in time. But that will be coming in sometime next week, hopefully during the week, but I don't know yet. I'm a little busy. But so uh, for today we are going to do the transfer case oil, the rear diff, and the yaw control. And those are your three major major parts of the evo 10 especially the transfer case everyone says like you need like a built transfer case for crazy power and everything and really you don't the only reason why people always ask if you have a built transfer case if you have all that power is when you end up launching a car it's a lot of stress on the transfer case and i'm not doing drags i did do a couple drags a while back before i started the channel and it really wasn't that much fun to me. I mean, it is fun always like beating someone down the quarter mile, whatever you're running. But uh, I'm more into road racing and track events. Uh, so there's really, there's stress on the transfer case, but not as much it would be if I was just doing drags. So in today's video though, we are going to have a little walk through. Alrighty, so the fluids you're gonna need are for the transfer case, you're gonna want to use the OEM LSD gear oil. Um, I definitely recommend OEM because uh, there's not much other brands up there that uh, I would trust in there and they did make this transfer case, so I definitely go OEM. The rear diff, go OEM as well. Um, just something I trust more than aftermarket brands. And for the yaw control, you're gonna use ATF automatic transmission fluid and a lot of people say you have to bleed it you really don't you don't need to bleed that at all um, so I'll show you I'll show you the parts you need in order to do this what tools are recommended and everything but I highly recommend going to like AutoZone or Napa or whatever you have nearby and picking up a hand pump because most of these uh, fill in drain spots are not parallel they're on the side of the the transfer case or the rear diff so you're gonna need a hand pump to get in there and a funnel so you can do it with ease oh and then you're gonna need a 24 millimeter I had to go out and buy this but so as you saw from the cold start you want your car to be warmed up you want to drive around the block a couple times get all the thick gear oil all nice and warmed up so it drains a lot faster but a big important part is you want to jack the car up on all four and have a level area so you can get all the fluid out and all the fluid in. So uh, go ahead, jack your car up right now, and I'll set the camera back up after I have it level on all four. All right, guys, well, I uh, failed to uh, empty my oil catch pan, so I bought this brand new one. So now we will get underway of doing the transfer case fill and drain. Alrighty guys, so now I'm underneath the car. Here's the T-case right here, and here's the drain bolt. Um, I'm following Jack's transmissions uh, walkthrough on how to do this. They say it's very dangerous if you fill it from uh, the fill side, and they say it's better if you let it all drain out uh, from the drain bolt, put a rag around there so it doesn't leak out, and pump in a full quart of uh, fluid in through the drain bolt, for uh, you get like, all the gears and everything in there to be lubricated and then quickly put back in the drain plug after uh, you pump in a full quart and then lower the car down and drive around the block and come back then once you do that you're gonna want to um, open up the fill bolt right over here I can't really tell because I'm not looking over there you're gonna want to open that up and let it all drain out the excess drain back out into the your drain bucket and then that should be the perfect amount for your T case. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. It's a 24 millimeter uh, bolt. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you guys it draining out and then me pumping it back in. It all loosened up. And now. There we go. 
Now if you want to speed up the process, you can take out your fill bolt, which I'm probably going to do here uh, just to speed up the process a little bit. But I'm going to take this bolt out because it is a magnetic tip, so I kind of want to see what the tip looks like, if there's any metal on it or whatnot. Hopefully it doesn't even look that bad. Uh, this trash case has 60k on it. There was like little to no metal shavings in there. So I'm actually really excited on how this looks. Um, that's good news for me. I'm going to clean off a little bit more and then uh, I'm going to get to the filling part. Alright guys, right here this is the transfer case fill bolt. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter. I'm going to take that off just so I can uh, have the transfer case drain faster. So uh, I'm going to crack that off right now and then now it's just a waiting game until all the fluid is out. And then I'll be pumping it back through that uh, fill bolt or the drain bolt, my bad. So right here I have the LSD gear oil uh, with the pump in the transfer case fill hole. I'm holding it right here with the clean rag um, and I'm just going to pump in this full thing. Tighten it up to uh, tighten the drain to 23 foot pounds. Drive the car around the block and then uh, come back and open up that fill and let the rest drain out. And that right there will do it for your transfer case fill. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, now that I pumped a full uh, quart through this drain plug right here, uh, tighten it back up 23 f uh, foot pounds, and then uh, lower the car back down, and then uh, take it for a spin around the block. After done with that, loosen up this bolt right here again, and then that one will uh, relieve all the excess uh, gear oil that doesn't need to be in your transfer case. And once you do that, tighten that back down to 20, 23 foot pounds. And then you're done with your tea case. All right, guys. So that right there was your tea case fill and drain. Uh, hope that helped you guys a bunch. Now we're moving on to the rear diff. So now we are going on to the rear diff, and this one also takes OEM uh, gear oil 90, and so you're going to need a 10 millimeter hex head to get both the drain of the gear oil and the SP3. ATF fluid is a 10, 10 millimeter hex head. So once you crack those loose, drain them. And then right here in the front, this is for the gear oil uh, fill. So crack that one off. Uh, make sure you put this back on, of course. But crack that one off. And then over here on the front side, right there, that is for your SP3. And uh, just tighten back down the SP3 fluid and then put some in there, and then you'll be set. Alrighty, and there you go. So this is your SP3. This is your rear diff gear oil. Both of them are draining out now. And so I'll just give it a few minutes and then I will put the plugs back in and fill them back up. Now they got all these buttoned back up. Now it's time to fill up the rear diff with some gear oil. And you want to put like 0.55 of a quart in there. So about half a bottle. Uh, so I'm after you get all your... Uh, for your diff fluid in there, you're going to want to tighten that bolt to 37 foot pounds. So I'm going to do that real quick. Ah, oh, perfect. I can't reach on there. Nice. All right. All right, guys. So on to our very last part. We are doing. Where's my camera? Oh, there. We are doing the SP3 for the yaw control. This is just fill up until it starts coming out and you are set and uh, here's the little fill hole right here I'm just gonna hold it in place and start pumping it 
Oh, and I'm already spilling. Alrighty guys, so that right there was a how-to on how to do uh, three of your main uh, drivetrain fluids. Your transfer case, rear diff, and yaw control. Um, I will be doing a transmission uh, flush and no, will change once my fluid comes in here, uh, like I told you guys before. So uh, if you guys ended up liking that video, uh, please leave it a, a thumbs up, uh, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry about if the camera and the walkthrough really wasn't that well, because it's kind of hard to do it with one person. But it's pretty straightforward. If you guys need any help, uh, just let me know down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take it easy.